Hello. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to use the topical past paper questions service on the ExamMate website. First, we click on the My Account button on the main page. Then, we click on Topical Past Papers on the left side of the page. If you have not subscribed to this service, you will see the Not Subscribed message in this section. In this case, you cannot see the questions of recent years. To see these questions, you can click on the word Unlock and enter the purchase page of this service. After buying the subscription, you can see the status of your subscription here. And you can see that the questions of recent years have been unlocked and you can use them. Here, we select the desired curriculum. And here, we choose the subject we want. Then, here you can see the latest update of curriculum and subject of your choice. In this section, there are filters for your convenience in choosing questions. First, we tick the desired topics. Then, select papers. In the next part, we tick the desired years. Here, select season. Finally, choose your desired zones. If you do not select any of the options, it will show all items by default. Then we click on the search button. In this section, you will see two windows. On the left, you will see a list of questions that you have filtered. If you click on each question, you will see the content of the question in the right window. There are four elements at the top of the left window. First, there is AASC button. By clicking on this button, you can arrange your questions according to the exam year in ascending or descending order. The next element displays the number of filtered questions. The next element shows how many questions are being displayed in this window. To see the rest of the questions, go to the bottom of the window and select the next page. And the last element is the random button. This button is more useful for teachers and parents. For example, you have 31 questions. Click the random button. In the opened window, turn on the random questions key. Enter the desired number of questions in the number of questions field. Please note that the maximum number you can enter in this field is 75. Click the update button. Here you can see 10 questions from the 31 questions that we have filtered before, which have been randomly listed for you. If you click on the random button again, and click on the update button without making any changes, the system will list 10 new questions for you from the 31 questions you have selected. To see all the questions again, click on the random button and turn off the random questions, and click on the update button. There are several buttons at the top of the right window. When you select Curriculum, the default system will show you the questions. Click on the Answer button to view the answers to the questions. You can move between questions using the Next and Previous buttons. The Share button allows you to share any question you like with your friends, students or anyone else with this link. The Add To button is used to add your questions to the exam and questions list. If you select Exam in the window that opens in the To Existing Exam tab, if you already have an exam, you can add the desired question in any exam you want. The number of questions you can add in each exam depends on your subscription type. If you click on the Create New Exam tab, and enter the name you want in the exam title field and click on the create and add question button and return to the to existing exam tab you will see that your new exam has been created and the desired question has been added inside the new exam and you can also remove it here but if you want to add the desired question in the question list 
Click on the question list option and do the same as exam. Click on your profile picture to better manage the add to button. In the window that opens, in the My Built Exam section, you can manage and customize your exams using the tools in the Actions column. And from the My Question List section, you can manage and customize your own question lists. Finally, in the left windows that list the questions, you can like any question you want. To see the questions you liked, click on your profile picture and you can see them in the My Favorite Questions section. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. Let's prepare for exam, mate.